Well, hi folks, time to plant the old leeks out now. As you can see, they've been growing away in this polystyrene box since about the middle of February, late February. And they haven't half flown on actually this year because I've grown them in some coarser compost and it seems to have done the trick. So like I said, they're about ready now. They're about a foot tall, not quite pencil thick, but not far off. And I'm going to be planting three rows of these in this bed using my dibber to make the hole. And then I'll be plonking some in. And then I'll show you how I'll do that. But the first thing to do is to just separate all these plants into single plants. So I'm not going to be cute about this. I'm just going to rip my box a bit because I've got loads of these. And we'll just remove, remove the big clump and then just start separating them out. Do that. See, they've got a massive root system on them now. So yeah, like I said, no need to be cute at all. You can be as rough as you like. Just a matter of separating these plants out now, quite carefully, having said that, into single plants. Shake all the soil off. And then you have to plant something like that. Like I said, about a foot tall maybe pencil thickness so so what I'm going to do with these a lot of the old gardeners used to say chop half the roots off and half the leaves off before you plant them but I've never done it that way I did it once that way and I got exactly the same results I did half a row one way and half the row the way I do it which is just leaving them and planting the whole thing in and I got exactly the same results so for me it's just a matter of separating them all into single ones so we'll get that done and then I'll show you how we dip the holes so as you can see I've just separated my best sort of 60 out, my best biggest 60 plants now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the holes with a dibber. The dibber I'm using this time is just an old spade handle that's broken off. And I'm going to set the depth at about 7 inches because basically, if that's the leak, and you're planting it that deep, then that's the depth of, of the shaft that will that'll turn out to be white, it'll, which will blanch, which will be kept away from the sunshine and then go uh, go white because if you just plant them on the flat and they grow above ground then the, the whole plant will be green but if you like I said plant them in a hole six seven eight inches deep sometimes that's the depth of the shaft that will become white so I've set mine to seven inches which usually gives about an inch for the root so then I've got about a six inch shaft if you pardon the expression <laughs> so I'm going to plant mine a lot closer than a lot of people because I'm a bit short for space I'm going to plant in rows a foot apart and then six inches apart between each leek. So the, the more space you give them, the bigger they, grow, the bigger they grow. So I mean, a lot of people grow them at least a foot apart and sometimes in rows 18 inches apart. But I'm a bit limited for space. So this year I'm going to be doing them a bit closer and you end up getting about the same yield, even though you get more in a row, but the, the plants are a little bit smaller. So anyway, luckily me, me ladders a foot between the rungs so every six inches is one there and one there so it's just as simple as sticking your dibber in up to the mark and pulling her out and it's as simple as that so that's in seven inches maybe wiggle it about at the top so that's my seven inch deep holes I'm just going to go all along the row do three rows And then we'll show you how we plonk them in, which again couldn't be easier. And then the final trick, which is the one of the most important bits, which is the little bit of watering at the end. The, the, the sort of special way you do that. So we'll get on and finish these and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, so there you go, folks. You can see I've done 60 holes now. It's only taken about five minutes. So now the next thing to do is, it's all just tedious and easy, just a matter of getting your single leak, shoving it in the hole, simple as that, couldn't be easier, making sure you get all the roots right down to the bottom. So like I said, another tedious task, just get your leak and plonk it in the hole. Looks a bit silly, but uh, they'll grow away and fill the holes up. And I'll just show you in a bit, I'll just do these and I'll show you how I water them in. And there's a couple of important tips really about what you should and shouldn't do after you've planted them. And the main one is, do not fill the hole in with soil as you know yourself. 
just put some water in, let enough soil wash over the roots, but don't fill the soil in, a hole in the soil. Because if you do, because it's buried, you'll end up with soil down into the between the leaves of the of the leek, and then once it grows, they'll they'll stay within it and you end up with a gritty leek. You end up with sand and soil and stuff inside your leek, you know, the, the skin of your leek. So like I said, just let it just let the the rain slowly fill the hole in as it grows and then that'll be right but like I said don't whatever you do fill the hole in sometimes they do collapse there's not a lot you can do about it but I wish you know just avoid doing that and anyway, I'll plonk all the rest of these and I'll just show you how I water them in finally and then that'll be it right then folks the last thing is to just sort of puddle them in water them in and what I find the best thing is a watering can with a piece of hose pipe stuck in the end then you can guide the water down the hole because if you use one with a spray on, you'll end up washing all the soil down the hole and like I said, filling the hole with, with soil. So this way, if I just show you, get it filled up, you can just aim it down the hole, fill the hole with the top, to the top with water like that. And that should wash enough soil just off the edges of the hole, just to fill the, the hole a tiny bit and cover the roots up with soil, which will get them going and get them rooted. So again, it's just like a just got to do it loads of times but once you've done it that's about it with Ewood Lakes really that's all you need to do and they should look after themselves so that's about it folks I think planting out the leaks this year it's the way I do it people do it slightly differently but that's the general rule of thumb dipping a hole in plonking them in and then filling the hole with water and then you should be okay that's about it folks see you later